Dead Cells is a standout indie game with captivating pixel art, offering seamless movement, intense combat, and rewarding progression. Renowned for its roguelike gameplay, it plunges players into eerie medieval landscapes teeming with adversaries and treacherous obstacles. The game's pixel art is visually striking, with vibrant colors that leap off the screen, enhancing the fast-paced action. Despite its frenetic pace, Dead Cells impresses with its meticulous attention to detail in character design, backgrounds, and every element on screen, elevating the overall gaming experience to new heights. If you enjoyed Hotline Miami but felt it needed more samurai swords and fewer animal masks, Katana Zero might be right up your alley. Combining elements of action, stealth, crime noir, and a Kill Bill-inspired bloodbath, this game offers a unique blend of gameplay experiences. Set in a cyberpunk world, Katana Zero puts you in the role of a samurai warrior navigating a neon-lit, crime-infested city. With one-hit kills for both you and your enemies, precision planning is essential. Expect to meet your demise, but at least the stylish visuals make each death visually captivating. You'll encounter the term Metroidvania frequently in this list, so brace yourself. While many games of this genre lean heavily towards the Metroid side, this gem from WayForward Studios strikes a more balanced blend. Picture Castlevania-style monsters combined with Metroid's gunplay. Inspired by the Mummy remake, this game proves that a ghastly movie can translate into enjoyable gameplay. Players assume the role of a prodigium agent, venturing into ruins, graveyards, and the London underground to thwart Princess Amunet and her undead army. Despite bosses being somewhat bullet spongy, it delivers a satisfying zombie blasting adventure. Celeste stands as one of the most discussed indie games of recent times, offering a captivating blend of beautiful 8-bit aesthetics, challenging gameplay, and an utterly captivating style. Its allure is almost hypnotic, enticing players with its superb platforming and an unyielding sense of adventure and discovery. If there are two words to encapsulate Celeste, they would be challenge and precision. While easy to grasp, mastering its intricacies proves to be a formidable feat. Death may be swift and frequent, yet each demise offers a fresh opportunity to persevere. Couple this with its unexpectedly emotional narrative and you're holding nothing short of a masterpiece. Can something be both captivating and unsettling? Blasphemous confidently answers yes. Those diving into this game should prepare for a visceral experience. This action platformer blends Dark Souls-esque combat with grotesque visuals reminiscent of Hieronymus Bosch paintings. Blasphemous thrusts players into a bleak realm filled with macabre landscapes inspired by Renaissance art and religious iconography. Its bosses evoke pure dread while its combat delivers a surprisingly graphic experience for a 16-bit aesthetic. If you seek a 2D counterpart to Dark Souls, look no further. While it may seem like we're taking an easy route by featuring a character like Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Mania brings the blue speedster back to his origins in this fast-paced 2D platformer. Sonic dashes through iconic stages like Green Hill Zone and Stardust Speedway, taking on Dr. Eggman and his mechanical minions. If this all sounds like a blast from the past, that's because it is. Sonic Mania pays homage to the essence of Sonic games. After some recent stumbles in the 3D realm, Experiencing Sonic in his classic form feels like a revitalizing breeze.
Back in the SNS era, JRPGs like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy III, and Earthbound captivated players with their immersive worlds and engaging stories. On the Switch, Octopath Traveler continues this tradition. With its blend of 2D sprites and 3D environments, Octopath Traveler presents a vast and captivating fantasy realm to discover. Featuring eight distinct characters to control, the game offers a rich and compelling experience. While it may not reach the heights of Chrono Trigger, it stands as one of the finest JRPGs available on the Switch. In this action platformer, you're essentially getting two games in one package. And not just that, but two distinct styles of pixel art graphics. The Messenger is a retro platformer through and through, and with its difficulty and design, it's sure to push your ninja abilities to their limits. The first half follows the conventions of an 8-bit platformer, reminiscent of the original Ninja Gaiden. However, once you reach the midway point, the game transforms into a 16-bit Metroidvania experience. It's a distinctive, challenging, and undeniably beautiful journey. Trust us when we say the message is loud and clear. If you mix the exploratory and slightly claustrophobic gameplay of Super Metroid with the charming characters and emotionally resonant storytelling of Undertale, you'll likely end up with something akin to Cave Story. This captivating game will immerse you in a world where you feel like a small fish in a vast ocean, yet the platforming challenges and narrative depth will keep you hooked. In a peculiar yet compelling narrative involving abandoned robots, eccentric scientists, and a race of rabbit-like creatures, you'll delve into the depths of this subterranean realm to uncover its secrets. Armed with a blaster and your platforming prowess, your mission is to navigate the labyrinthine caves and thwart the sinister plans of an evil doctor. Now we reach what might be the most endearing addition to our lineup the ever-charming and timeless Shovel Knight. With its delightful fantasy world crafted in 8-bit graphics, Shovel Knight and its array of DLC draw inspiration from the pinnacle of the platformer genre. It's safe to say it stands among the very best. This game pays homage to NES classics like Mega Man 2, DuckTales, and even a hint of Castlevania. Mix all that with the best of Monty Python's Flying Circus, and you've got the basics. Grab your trusty shovel and embark on an adventure in one of the greatest indie titles we've had the pleasure of experiencing. If A Link to the Past was set in a post-apocalyptic sci-fi slash fantasy world, Hyperlight Drifter would be its equivalent. That's about as much detail as we can give you regarding what the game feels like. Explaining its essence would require more than just a few hours. Hyperlight Drifter isn't merely a sci-fi journey, it's an immersive encounter. As the Drifter, you navigate through this hostile planet, engaging in combat and striving to thwart the encroaching evil. There's no dialogue, no narration, no explicit context. Your understanding of the world is entirely open to interpretation. Enter the Gungeon offers a distinct roguelike adventure on the Nintendo Switch, focusing on an arsenal of firearms, as its name suggests. Players delve into unforgiving dungeons, armed with an array of peculiar and potent guns, while contending with adversaries themed around bullets and firearms. Distinguished by its top-down, isometric perspective, Enter the Gungeon stands out among pixel art games on the Switch. Noteworthy features of its graphical style include dynamic weapon animations, immersive lighting effects, and eccentric particle effects. While the game presents formidable challenges at every turn, it consistently rewards players with diverse weaponry, enhancements, and gameplay strategies.